In 2020, the average software engineer has a median salary of over $100,000 with an unemployment rate of less than 1.6%, thus making it one of the most lucrative job positions in the market right now. Becoming a software engineer or software developer gives you not only the technical skills to apply to other areas in which you can find jobs in accounting, consulting, investment banking, and various other areas of jobs as well, it also provides you with an above average work-life balance with the stable income that they give you. Furthermore, with the rise of other top tech companies like Google, Amazon, Facebook, Apple, a lot of these jobs are being paid even higher for starting salaries and the ceiling for growth has become greater than ever before. So based on sources from levels.fyi, and if you haven't used levels.fyi before, it's a really great resource to compare how much people are making at software engineering jobs around various different companies at specific levels so that you can possibly also motivate yourself to get those companies or you can also compare how much you make to how much people at those companies make. So based on levels.fyi, companies like Google, Apple, and Amazon, and a lot of these unicorn startups are paying starting salaries of more than 150,000 to almost $200,000 a year with senior engineers and also like higher up level engineers making almost 400 to $500,000 a year, which is more than needed for the regular person to have a very comfortable life and also retire at a decently young age with a good work-life balance so that they can also do stuff along the side that they want to. And this includes like other hobbies and various other things that you always wanted to do but really can't do with other jobs who are working you a lot longer. With this really high insane starting salary at a lot of these top tech companies, you would expect it to be extremely, extremely difficult to get into a lot of these companies and the supply for a lot of these jobs at these top tech companies and these unicorns to be very low as well. However, there's actually still a huge demand for a lot of these positions at these top tech companies. A lot of these top tech companies are also hiring constantly and there's an insane amount of positions for people for these companies. So a while back, I posted a video about my first day as a software engineer and a lot of you guys commented and reached out to me asking me like to make a complete guide on how to become a software engineer um, in 2021 or how to be, get a job at Google, at Facebook, at Amazon how to get a lot of these jobs and so basically I started doing a little bit of research for other resources that people have made on YouTube or other courses and programs that people have made on this specific topic of basically tackling the technical interview or basically learning how to interview learning how to recruit in order to get interviews at these top tech companies and I found a lot of great resources but I also found a lot of paid programs as well um, a lot of these paid programs basically cost a decent amount of money from maybe hundreds to maybe even even thousands of dollars to help you get into a top tech company and so basically I'm not saying that these programs are bad or these resources are bad they're actually really good um, these programs could definitely help get people into a lot of these companies but when I was applying to a lot of these top tech companies when I was applying as a student to these software engineer roles I didn't really have any money to spend because I was paying for my tuition, I was paying for other stuff, I didn't have a job, so I was paying for a lot of things. And so basically, I spent a lot of time, a lot of months to years, basically learning how to recruit, learning how to interview, um, learning the best ways to tackle the technical interview. I had a lot of ups and downs, a lot of failures and successes. I basically did interviews, failed interviews, did different resources, and felt like some resources worked and some didn't work. And I essentially wanted to create this YouTube channel to give back to the community by making essentially this playlist or this series of videos in which I have this complete guide to basically tackling the um, interview for these top tech companies and also this applies to regular companies as well because a lot of these companies recruit relatively in the same way and I wanted to share my own personal experiences with you guys and I wanted to share all the tips and tricks that I learned along the way so that you guys don't have to basically look and scatter resources or have to pay money for a lot of these programs because essentially it took me a long time to understand how to recruit effectively because I think that a lot of the things that you learn in school or a lot of things that you learn like relatively like how to basically make a project and a lot of these things are sometimes not really applicable during the technical interviews or during recruiting. So you need to learn this whole new subset of skills just to interview and recruit and just to do technical problems in order to pass them and go into these top tech companies. I remember when I started, it was really hard for me because 
computer science throws at you so many different resources and so many different things. There's so many different things to do along the web and I felt like there wasn't really a centralized location to learn everything. So that's why I wanted to make this YouTube series for you guys and essentially just like go step by step into everything that's needed in order to pass a software engineering interview. I'm not saying this is the perfect guide where you can get a job, but I'm saying this is what I learned from the past and I was able to basically do well and succeed in various areas and also achieve jobs at my various dream companies as well. And I was able to get interviews and jobs at places like Google, Amazon, Lyft, Uber, and essentially I wanted to share a lot of these tips with you guys into this series. Personally, I don't think that it, I don't think that it's like, it's in, you need to be insanely a genius or you need to be like magically lucky in order to get one of these interviews in order to pass them in order to get these top tech companies. I feel like a lot of this comes from knowledge that you don't really learn in school, just like knowledge that like you could basically need to put like makeup on your own or stuff that you need basically need to learn in order to do the specific recruiting process and learning process. And also a lot of this stuff comes from grinding. And so grinding like correctly and grinding smartly will allow you to basically pass a lot of these interviews as well. I really couldn't put everything in this one video because it would be extremely long and I would have to take many hours on it, but I wanted to make a series of videos for you guys. Personally, I feel like there's two biggest hurdles when it comes to getting a software engineering job. And I think the first hurdle comes from getting an interview, right? And the second hurdle comes from passing the interview. So I think the hardest hurdle right now is getting the interview because you essentially need to make a resume, a good resume in which you would be able to best showcase your accomplishments and then be able to network and get a referral because a lot of times people just apply online and a lot of times your resume gets lost within the hundreds of resumes that there are or you don't really network and you don't really try to get a referral and then you end up getting rejected or you're getting resume rejected but a lot of times you could possibly get an interview when you're able to work a little bit more just to get an interview but you don't really know it yet because you never really learned the steps in order to recruit and in order to get those referrals. And the second hurdle comes from basically tackling the interview. And this is a case in which people get wrong because they don't know exactly what to study in order to tackle the technical or behavioral interview, or they feel like they're confident enough, but a lot of times they don't really know that do they need to talk during the technical interview or what questions to ask or how to tackle these questions for the interviewer. So a lot of people just make these mistakes that they don't know about. And I want to basically create this whole guide for you to talk about all of those things, these two biggest obstacles and how to tackle each step of the process. And because I had so much personal experience with interviewing, with doing technical interviews, I also basically utilize a bunch of different resources that I wanted to share with you guys, like how to use those resources. And I basically did a lot of LECO questions, a ton of LECO questions. And essentially, a lot of you guys, I know I, you don't like doing those LECO questions, um, but I essentially I did a lot of my research and I looked up various resources and experiences of my own and I made like 50 essential LeetCode questions in different areas, tackling different areas of data structures and algorithms that you need to know in order to basically have a good fundamental in order to pass the interview because it doesn't really take essentially like like tons of tons of LeetCode questions. All these LeetCode questions just allow you to get a better grasp of how to tackle specific data structures and algorithm questions. Now these questions are really tough because you're not taught to think that specific way in college or when I was in college or in school, but you need to basically develop the skills to solve those problems. So a lot of times it take it works really well in order to see the specific solutions of those problems in order to see, wow, that's how other people think about these problems and change your thinking to think about them as well. Because a lot of times the way to solve these problems is completely different than you think. So what I want you guys to do for this specific video is to basically sub and like the video, write comments, ask about like questions or asking about like what specific videos you want in the series because currently my idea for what I want in this series is stuff like how to do the behavioral questions, how to do the technical questions, basically the leak code and like should I use cracking the coding interview, should I use this resource and also how to network, how to get referrals through LinkedIn, um, how to do specific data structures, basically a video on each of the data structures and how to tackle them and also the algorithms and how to tackle them, how to do the behavioral questions, how to talk during the technical interview, how to do mock interviews and also how to basically negotiate once you have an offer. So basically like these are the ideas that I'm thinking about. If you have any other ideas, be sure to comment below. But I really need you guys to, if you want to this series to happen, basically make sure to sub and like, because I feel like 
with more subs and also with more people watching, I get motivation to push more videos. Because if no one watches my videos, then I have almost no motivation to make these videos, right? Because I wanted to give back to you guys, so that's why I want people to watch my videos and also people to basically comment and basically, you know, have a discussion in my videos. Because if you comment below, I reply to every single comment, as you can see in my videos previously, I reply every single comment, I take a look at every single comment. So if you have any questions, make sure to comment below. And so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate um, everything that's been going on in the past year. It's been really awesome. Like um, all, for all of these 3,000 subscribers or 2,700 subscribers, um, thank you so much for watching me. I definitely will try to create as much real content and less beating around the bush as I can in this whole series. So thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day.